Hello Akuma fans, Charlie with the Gosker application staff with another tip for you today. This one comes straight from a customer request. Someone asked if it's possible for the Akuma lathe to do a roughing cycle that not only increases in the X diameter but also decreases on the backside. This is something that uh, the lesser controls call a non-monotonous turning cycle uh, because the in a normal cycle the X always moves in the positive direction however in this case we want the X to also be able to move in the minus direction and uh, the question was I thought Akuma could do this how come my machine isn't doing it so let me start by saying yes Akuma can do it it is not a purchased option it's a standard thing some of these other controls will require you to have a special piece of code to put into the, your can cycle if you've purchased the option but Akuma has that as standard so let's look at uh, our code here and maybe it'll make a little sense what we're trying to do. Standard G85 turning cycle, depth cut 150 thousandths with a cleanup pass in X of 20 thousandths, W of 2. And let's take a look at the shape we're making. As you can see, we're starting all the way over center line, moving into the face of the part, coming out to exact center line, then turning a spherical diameter that goes all the way over the major diameter of the. Um, uh, of the sphere in front and then comes back down to a diameter of just over half an inch before continuing back. So if you envision this it's gonna look a little bit like a lollipop and uh, there are no special codes that I've put in my turning cycle. It will function as advertised. So my customer asked me why in the heck isn't mine doing it? I've done this up in, in uh, solid modeling so you can actually see the graphics. I'm going to hit start and we'll see the result that the customer was having. My VNMG turning tool is doing a great job of roughing the front, but now as we get to the G87, it's going to start cutting the thing without having roughed behind the sphere. Uh, that's not good, especially if this is some kind of nasty tool steel. Now we're pushing a, a hefty amount of material on the backside. So I scratched my head for a minute and took a look at his code and realized that, oh, wait a second, our starting diameter where we're delivering our tool to start the roughing can cycle is less than the D value greater than our final diameter of our sphere. So by simply increasing this diameter by 10 thousandths, that's enough to where now when we run it, we'll see it start to rough in the front and go all the way around the sphere looking good so far and now there we go now we're roughing behind the sphere and again this is done with no extra code nothing fancy we don't have to know a secret Vulcan handshake it's all just built into the logic of the Akuma control so now we'll see this I'm gonna speed it up just a wee little bit so that we can see the finish pass it's now roughed the entire thing G87 will clean up all the way around it take it all the way to the back There you go. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your local Gossiker application staff. We are always here to help you.